Hey, what's up? What's up? It's your boy BQ. Welcome back to the channel. This um, upload here, which is also being done for my cell phone, this is coming a little late. I wanted to comment on this after it had happened. Um, I watched the recent match between Madison Rain and Deanna Perrazzo on AEW television, which um, <laughs> definitely goes down as one of the worst women's matches in uh, recent memory. And to compare the two, I actually watched their match from Ring of Honor. So if you YouTube, if you look on YouTube, Deanna versus Madison, it'll show you the majority of the AEW match. I don't know why they uploaded it. And then right underneath is their Ring of Honor match. And it is like a lifetime ago. There is no comparison. And, um, you know, the question remains, does the coach need a coach? You know, they brought Madison Rain over there. Um to help improve the women's division uh, as a as an agent, as a coach. And the reason I'm even talking about this, it's not to destroy AEW. Uh, if, you, if you haven't seen the match, again, the majority of it is out there online. They're wrestling in slow motion. And Deanna is too. It, it's mainly Madison. Um, I've never found, to be, found Madison Rain to be very good in the ring. What I always said was, if you've seen one Madison match, you've seen them all. Um, the the forearms that have nothing behind them, uh, the step up in Seguri, you know, uh, it's it's for the most part, it's just it's it's the same match. Um, but she was serviceable and it worked. And I think when she was a knockout, they put her they didn't put her in positions to fail. If you understand what I'm saying, so um, I I think they had a. Just a better feel of putting women in matches that, you know, with opponents where they had a little bit of chemistry. But you would think these two would have some chemistry. But the entire match, including Deanna, is in slow motion. And to me, Deanna is the best women's wrestler in the world. I love the Virtuosa. So it was just really shocking to see this. But, you know, to rewind to what I was just saying, this wasn't to... This isn't to destroy AEW. It just the reason I'm even talking about this is because these are two former knockouts, and these are recent knockouts too. These aren't, you know, knockouts well past their prime. I mean, you could argue Madison Rain is past her prime, but you know she's still in in pretty good shape. Uh, she obviously isn't wrestling much. Uh, you you could tell by this match, and you know there was a spot where uh, Madison was dropped on her head. And she appears to be okay, but they, they pretty much wrapped the matchup at that point. They had um, Deanna put her in the ankle lock, um, which was the break a leg move that Tony Storm uses. And, you know, Madison very fakely, if that's a word, taps out. And in the Ring of Honor match, she tapped out as well to the, uh, I think, the Venus de Milo, but it was a real tap out. You know what I mean? So check that Ring of Honor match out because it's it just so funny in comparison. Uh, but yeah, the point of what I'm trying to say here is it's, it's sad because these are represent these are representatives of the knockouts division and the history of the knockouts, both, both former world knockouts champions, um, or knockouts world champions. And, you know, Deanna just had a run of a couple years of fantastic matches, even though she started losing a lot towards the end. Deanna never put on a bad match. I've never seen a bad Deanna match until now. And it kind of shows, you know, that the knockouts division really is in a league of its own. A lot of it is, you know, Gail Kim backstage and just the overall team at TNA. And the way, you know, the, the way they lay matches out, the way... They tell stories in a ring. Like, for instance, one of the issues here, it worked in Ring of Honor, but uh, Deanna and Madison Rain are both baby faces. So that completely changes the way that you work a match. And, you know, it was a, tr it was a train wreck. It was a complete train wreck. Like, there's no way to, you know, it's very com uh, comparable to... Taya Valkyrie versus Britt Baker and a, a couple of these matches that they also had that were absolutely horrible. I think Ruby Soho and, uh, man, I don't remember, Hikaru Shida had a really bad one for them recently as well. Some people 
just don't have chemistry and there was absolutely no chemistry here and it's just sad because these are representations of the knockouts division but it just goes to show that it's not always the woman it's not always the girl it's not always the knockout it's it's tna it's it's the agents it's um you know the producers to help lay out the matches and it's the the type of match that TNA wants to give you, wants to, uh, the way they want their performers to perform. You know, you can't just take the same two women, go to another company who have a completely different standard of how you should wrestle and think you're going to get the same quality product. So um, definitely check that match out, if anything, for kind of a good a good laugh. It's kind of sad. I don't know if I should say a good laugh. It's kind of sad, but I, I really implore you to check out their match at Ring of Honor, because um, if you watch the two in a row, it's it just seems like complete lifetimes in between. 